Hey guys, it's Kudasai coming at you with a game called The Room Syndrome. We're just gonna get right into this. I don't know if The Room Syndrome is actually a thing that is a thing in real life, but we're just gonna find that out right now. The Room Syndrome. Start. Oh, it's was to move. Okay, okay, just gonna go into the settings real quick. Um, space. Full screen. Oh, die. Well, nope, not that. Uh, full screen. Full screen! I can't do that. Oh, full screen on. I cannot read. I cannot read. I thought I could just go and click on full screen. Okay, full screen on. It's... Okay, so how do I get out of this, this escape? Gotcha. Start. And... Yes, I am sure I want to start this game. Let us commence. Right now. Wake up. I'm awake! This is the final stop. No! Whoa! Oh, this is so cool already! Oh, I love it! How do I interact with things? Can I- are, oh, these are benches. Okay. Wow, I love this kind of- the style of game. Can I go back in here? Okay, no. This is already interesting, and I- I'm only 30 seconds into it, so that's pretty cool. Alright! The- uh, whoa! Oh, that's so cool! Okay. Okay, oh, the, the room syndrome. Not like I don't know that by this point. So, I got off the train. Oh, hi, human. Wait. Dot, dot, dot. D did... Did you really need to close the door behind you? Whatever. It doesn't matter anyway. Sure it doesn't. So, why am I here? Are you my husband? Oh. Examine an empty cardboard box. What do you do? Destroy the box and I'm not gonna... Uh, no. Nothing happened. So I'm supposed to destroy the box? The plant looks like it has been completely forgotten. Hmm, interesting. So why am I here? Who is this guy? Who am I? The door is locked. You are stuck in here. Why am I stuck in here? What? I... I was the one who locked the door, so... I could- I- that means I should have the key? Unless there is no key, I could just, you know, turn the- the lock thing, the- the little clicky doodad, and just unlock my- unlock the door and see myself out. So what is this? It's a piece of paper. What do you do? Eh, sure, I'll read it. Actually, no, before I do that, it might trigger something, so nothing happened. Obviously. What's in the trash can? A rather nice looking- oh, the, I didn't mean the bed. A rather nice looking bed, okay. What's in here? A dirty clothespin. It contains an amount of dirty laundry. Okay, so this is one of those um, RPG style games, I'm guessing. It's an open, empty chest. What do you do? Close the chest? I might as well. No, actually, no, I'm not gonna do that yet. Nothing happened. That it did not. A sack of cold, hard fire firewood. Cool, so can I put it into the fireplace, light a fire, get it all nice and cozy in here? Uh, microwave, cabinet, this must be the kitchen, I'm assuming. Um, don't mind me. The end table looks completely normal. <laughs> Nothing to see here, just a completely average, everyday, you know, regular table. An old TV set, it's currently turned off. Uh, fine, I guess I might as well do something. Actually, before I do that, nope, I'm very picky about what I want to do first. I examine this. A coffee table with a book and a TV remote. Alright. That sounds extremely interesting. I'm gonna go read your book, man. I just, just don't mind me. Don't mind me, man. It's a piece of paper. What do you do? Oh, no, I meant, I meant to read it. Sorry. And read it. What's the point? She's gone. And that's it. Wow. Wow, I, I love that. That was really interesting. Really, really strengthened the plot, you know. That was incredible. Okay, I might as well uh, just close the chest. What's that going to do? You close the chest. Can I reopen it? Open the chest. Okay, so I feel like there's something that's... Th there's going to be a reason why this chest is important later on. I'm not too sure yet. I might have to put something in it and seal it in there for all I know. But... For now, I might as well take a gander at this TV. What's playing? Oh. Oh. 
Uh, I don't know how to work an old TV, guys. Oh, jeez. Ah, this is not my... Uh, that's how you... Oh, okay. Oh, channel one, okay. Channel two, channel three, channel four, channel five. It's getting darker. Channel six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Very, very interesting. Um, yeah, I learned a lot from that. Nice TV program. Um, are you gonna start a new series anytime soon? No? Okay, then. Uh, I guess, um... Hey, can I talk to you? Is there anything else I missed? Oh, destroy the box. I might as well. D don't mind me. I... <laughs> Par- What? Paradox created- What the- I destroyed the box. Why? Why? I don't even know myself. Conversation, sure. Oh. Hey, you need to talk to me? Yeah, why am I here? Key? <laughs> Key? What's up with the television? Okay, so I, do, I have to unlock all of these conversation dialogues? Is at some point, I guess. Who are you? Who are you? David. Was there anything else? Um, what is this place? And what's with the paradox? This is the room. The only room. This is the only place that exists anymore. I was just at the train station. What? You, you can't tell me that the train station is suddenly gone. How long have you been here? God. I, uh... Wow, I don't know. Long enough that it's hard to remember. I mean... It's not even that it's just hard to remember. But it's hard to even feel. Oh, okay. Uh, what about the key? Well, where's the key to this place? <laughs> a key? To the door? You think a key exists? I feel sorry for you. Why do you feel sorry for me? I feel sorry for you. And myself. What's up with the television? It can tune a single- it can tune into a single channel. Only one channel. To answer your question, I don't know how it works. It just does. I plugged it in and it turned on like it's supposed to. I've never been able to tune into any other channel. I only get static, yet the one channel I get is just a black screen anyway. Always static on any other channel setting. I don't even get the point of the stupid thing. Occasionally I hear voices coming from the TV. So, what if I... David is normal. Wait, what? Wait. What does it mean by David is normal? What is, what's that supposed to mean? Oh! Oh, okay, why- 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 why is that thing- Ooh, I don't like that. Uh, what about- what if I leave the TV? Um... Oh, no, no, I mean, what if I just set the TV- Oh my gosh, yeah! That's- that is- okay, look. Okay. What if I just, um... Oh, it's off. Wait. Oh, uh, yeah, it's off. Ugh, I don't know how to work old TVs. Oh, now it's off. Wait, what? Oh, here- there you go. Wait, what? Whoa, okay. Two, one- Wait, there's only two channels now- wait. Wait, 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 what? What? No, no, wait, wait, no- Oh, uh, wait. Two. There's only two channels. I, oh, three. Four. Why is there a three in the background now? Last time I said two. And five. I'm just gonna leave it at this and I'm just gonna go. Since I have... Oh, why? Whoa, why is the arrow blue now? What does that mean? What? An old TV set? Yeah. Uh, uh. Look at it. Seven. Whoa. Oh, now there's seven channels. And... Is that it? Whoa. Oh my gosh, this- Oh, wow, the knob- The channel knob thing doesn't work like it should. Oh, wow. Skipping- Ugh, so You're a skippy one, are you? Okay. Fi I'll just leave it right there. And we're gonna pretend like nothing ever happened. Oh, the chest is open. Wait, who opened- Oh, no. Who opened the chest? It's an open, empty chest. Uh, close the chest. So I, I know I created a paradox, but so far I don't see how that has anything to do with the events that are taking place here. The end table is glowing and quivering. It doesn't make any sense, yet the space around it feels cold. It's unlike anything else in the room right now. What do you do? I might as well. Actually, before I do that, I am going to see if anything else changed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The trash can is filled with crumpled up papers. Probably notes to his long-lost love. 
<laughs> okay, let's see. Anything in the fireplace? Anything different here? A collection of fire tending tools. And what about a sack of cold hard firewood? Uh, anything new with the bed? Um, a rather nice looking bed. Yeah, I know that. Anything? No, it contains. Okay. Um, the radio will not turn on. With a little further investigation, it's clear that the radio is missing batteries. So, can I find some batteries somewhere, maybe? It's a piece of paper. What does it say? Uh, what's the point? She's gone. Yeah, I know. I know. It sucks. But, you know, we just gotta move on. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Is this still open? Or locked, I mean? The door's locked. I'm stuck. Obviously, it's a destroyed cardboard box. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. I have been known to crush many a box in my time. So why is that important? The plant looks like it's been completely forgotten. I guess he hasn't been watering it like he should have been. So before I touch that table, I'm just gonna ask him about um, the radio? What about the radio? Oh, just sorry. Oh, gosh. Uh, that thing has caused nothing but trouble. Don't mess with it. It won't do any good. Uh, eh, oh, okay, well, that, that option's not up anymore. Uh, and that's it. That's... Okay, uh, sure, sure, man. Whatever you say, I'll, I'm just gonna- Don't mind me, I'm gonna be touching this thing now. Uh, touch. Ooh. Ooh, this is skewy. Ooh, the bed changed position. The bed is infrequently used, yet very well made. That it is. A dirty clothes bin. There's a mound of dirty women's clothes inside the basket. Okay, the door is locked. You are stuck in here. No kidding. Um, but what about this radio? The radio will not turn on. With a little further investigation, it's clear that the radio is missing batteries. Yep, I know. Hey, plant, you moved! It's, the plant is being meticulously kept with care. Oh. I see. The tools haven't been used in quite a while. The firewood is cold and hasn't been touched in a while. Okay, I see. There's a lot of crumpled paper inside the trash can. It looks like someone was rummaging through it. Is that the reason why all these paper paper scraps are on, uh, just scattered on the floor like that? Uh, what does this say? It's a note. It's a piece of paper. What do you do? I want to read it. I'm curious. The amount of paper collecting everywhere is concerning. But the more scary thing is, who wrote all these notes? I certainly didn't, and I also saw these notes appearing when I was in David's timeline. Oh, oh god, are, are these? These notes are our thoughts. Someone is transcribing our thoughts. What? How is this happening? Maybe David found my thoughts and that's why I need to get out of here. Oh... So somebody is keeping track of all of these people's thoughts. It's a piece of paper. Uh, let's read it. The time travel frequently frequency seems to have something to do with even an odd numbers. The whole thing is a spectrum, with the center frequency being a medium. The further from the center, the further in the desired direction of time. I think odd means the future, and even means the past. I've noticed several paradoxes that have already occurred, and I think there are a few more I might have to create to escape this place once and for all. Oh, All I can glean from this is that the whole time travel frequency has something to do with numbers, and the only numbers that I've seen so far are on the TV. So before I do that, I'm just going to see what's in this box, or in the chest. Inside the chest are a couple of batteries. What do you do? I, I could fix the radio now. You took the batteries. Um, it's an em open, empty chest. Oh no, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. Um, what's this? An empty cardboard box. What do you do? Destroy the box. Hold on. Just a second. I, oh, I don't remember what I set the TV to last time. It, it might have been an odd number. I think I, oh, wait. Wait, 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 hold on. Um, if I go back to this, what's that? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Um, odd is the future and even is the past. That means if the box is still here, I might... I, I, that means I might have set the TV channel in the previous paradox... Or in the, the previous parallel universe, I guess. I, I must have set it to even. 
it. Right. I, I should have set it to even. Yeah. Because I am in the past now, which means that this box is still here. Okay, so what if I go further into the pack? Wait. Okay. So, it's on one right now, that means the f one is odd, which means future. Oh, wait, well what about- does that number have to do with anything? The three? You can kind of see the outline of a three right there. So, three is odd, which means the future. So, what if I... Can I turn it off, turn it back on? Oh my gosh, okay, two... One. Is that telling me? Is that three telling me where I need to go? I can't. Okay, three. I'm just I'm just gonna leave it at three and see what happens from there. Um. Okay. So yeah, I guess I might as well uh, actually before I do that. The chair looks well used, but not worn. Okay, that was completely unnecessary. But before I actually do that, I can fix this radio now. The guy told me not to use it since nothing good comes from it, but... Uh, the radio's missing batteries. My batteries fit, but the radio doesn't turn on. You take the batteries back. Wait, so what do these batteries go to? What do these batteries go to? Wait, really? I, I, wait. Wait, hold on. Okay, well... That's uh, useless, I guess. Um, okay... Is that a- oh, that's a spoon in a bowl. Um, just being really thorough here. I don't want to miss anything, but, um... Okay, I guess we might as well just touch this again. The end table looks a bit peculiar. What do you do? Open the drawer. Dr drawer, whatever. You open the drawer. The drawer is empty. Put the batteries in the drawer? Uh-huh. I don't know, things are starting to get weird here. Like, there's some, there's some, uh, like, pa like, uh, past, present, future stuff going on here. And I have a feeling that if I put these batteries in the drawer, if I set the TV to the future, which is odd, it's already set to the future, that means that guy is gonna find the batteries and he can put them in whatever fits. I'm guessing not the radio since it said that it didn't fit in the radio. But I guess I might as well touch the table again. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hi, you're back. Okay, so that means I went into the future. Yeah, th yeah, I, I went back to the future. The destroyed box is still here. Okay. Yeah, everything is exactly what it used to be. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sorry. I'm starting to just barely understand. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So I'm guessing from all of this, based on all of this, this is obviously a paradox situation here. And I don't know a lot about paradoxes and whatever else that has to do with paradoxes, like parallel universes and, you know, altering the past and affecting the future and all that, like the butterfly effect or whatever. But from what I do know, everything that I do in the past should have... A consequence in the future so if I go around in the past changing everything just you know doing my own thing then what's gonna happen to this guy is, is there a way that I can that I could get him back together with that woman he was writing about um I don't know I have no idea but as far as I know this game is gonna go really deep. It is gonna delve into some really, really deep stuff. But 
I'm gonna end it here, guys, because I am all out of time. So I will pick this up in a later video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, why not give me a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I am gonna put a link in the description if you want to play this game for yourself and see if you guys can figure out something about this game for yourself, I guess. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for joining me here, and don't forget to stay tuned for the next video. I will see you then.